Let's bring in Tony Kovaleski now, one of our Denver 7 investigators who's also there in Arvada right now. So, Tony, tell us what you have learned out there. And been working the phones for the past hour, as everybody has. We have now from multiple sources. One officer has lost their life here. We are hearing from a single credible source that the two gunmen may also have lost their life. Uh, it would be consistent with what we've been watching here and that it's it's not an active scene as you've been talking about, but uh, we do have confirmation from two, in two independent sources right now that one officer has lost their life in this shooting here in Arvada. That is what we know at this point, continuing to tap our sources to get information. We will have updates as they come in. And Shannon? All right, Tony, thank you. Uh very much. Tony uh, announcing what we, uh, we were able to report um, just a short while ago, that an Arvada police officer has lost his or her, her life. We don't have identity right now. I don't know even if we'll have it. We, we may have it with the, uh, the press conference. But there's a lot of very uh, delicate, um, delicate lines that need to be crossed uh, before they, they make something like that public. Um, and we don't know how all this started either. You know, the first report was uh, about 10, 15 minutes before one o'clock or before two o'clock this afternoon there in Old Town. And we don't know what, what kicked all this off. We don't know if it was a robbery. We don't know if uh, someone was intent on doing harm. Uh, we don't, we just simply uh, don't know. And hopefully those questions uh, will be answered as well. We also have not heard any indication that there were any members of the public uh, involved or hurt or anything like that. Uh, we, we have not heard one way or the other. Um, in that. So please do, do stay with us here on, on Denver 7. We're going to stay with us until we get these questions answered.